Hi again, YouTube. Uh, this is Al. So today I was hit with sort of random inspiration to do a face up on this sculpt. Which sculpts I end up doing face ups on and when and what order, it all kind of happens randomly. So I just got this sculpt in a couple weeks ago and already I kind of just happened to come upon what I want to do with it. So where I start in the face up process, especially with anime face ups is always procreate. I go to procreate, I pull up an image of the sculpt from the front and I just keep drawing different attempts until it ends up working. I think this is the most important thing that you can do. It gives you a really good direction to work with and I don't even want to attempt to do a face up, an anime face up, without already knowing what I'm gonna do going into it. I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that. So first of all, I like to draw little eye whites in and little eyes. Sometimes I start with super simple, different varieties. That's kind of a more cutesy one. Um, I landed on these. And so I'm gonna make hand-painted eyes to match these eyes. The first one, the first uh, eye design that I attempted uh, was this kind of slightly mischievous face. As you can see, I didn't even get to eyebrows on this one. I just didn't like it. The eye shape was not doing it for me. So I started over from scratch here. This is the next one that I ended up doing. Closer to what I wanted. I know that I want to do a flat top eye because this sculpt, this sculpt has sort of flat upper lids. I kind of like where this was going, but I added a different mouth way through because I wasn't happy with this mouth and this gave me like his character like a street urchin that would steal your wallet so I tried it again going more into that direction and then this is where I ended up I'm gonna attempt as close as possible to this I think he turned out really cute I hope I can do the mouth and it works in the flat face sculpt uh we'll see
close-up is finished. I actually really love how this turned out. The mouth is pretty chunky. I'm hoping that with like, good lighting, which I don't have right now, um, I can kind of hide that. Getting the paint opaque enough while also thin enough is a constant struggle for me, but I refuse to use better materials. So this is what I've got, but I think it turned out really cute. As for eyes, I have two options. I have these casted long anime eyes, which I think would work perfectly for the eyes that I had in mind. So you can kind of see my vision here. I think those could work great. But also I have these flat standard kind of medium dome anime eyes. They fit perfectly. I think I'm gonna go with both of them and just see which one ends up better. I say now. <laughs> Uh, famous last words. So, turns out I suck at making these kind of three-dimensional anime eyes because the resin went all stupid and bubbly. Like, I, I don't know if you can really see, there's huge bubbles all over the place in there. I think I maybe need to use thinner sections, but in any case, these are garbage. So the decision was made for me that I'm just gonna use the hand-drawn ones, which I think looks pretty cute. So this body isn't bad, but there's a few stylistic and then posing changes that I wanna make really quick before I finish kind of this whole character. So the first problem that I have, not problem, but the hands, I don't know, with the head being the way it is, I kind of want them to be bigger. So I actually have these fourth scale, this is an Imomoto hand. And then this one is from a shop called, I think just Plastic Doll. I'm gonna see if I can put these on, on this body. I think they don't look too big. And if we're going after a cartoony aesthetic, I think that it will work. like better it looks more natural to me than the original hands somehow I I don't know I do like I like this a lot so that is staying I like that the second change I want to make is concerning the ankles because as I've played with this guy over the past couple days um I feel like the ankles are what's kind of the weakest link posing wise on this body we got here some silicone kips these are one of the best purchases, doll related purchases that I have made recently. They're super cheap and available on Cowbell, but they are so much easier than hot glue suede. I hate hot glue suede. So I chose these little ones. I think they'll probably fit in the ankles. So let me give it a shot. Hopefully I can put them in without having to reefs string the entire body. better variety of poses than it could unsuaded. So I think, I think I'm happy with this body now with the bigger hands and the suede feet.
I ended up liking him way more than I thought I would just based on like the base doll. The base doll is cute and all, but it's not really anything particularly special. But he just ended up so cute. I love how mischievous he looks. I've already kind of come up with a name for him. I think his name is going to be Rum. This video is kind of a mess because my computer broke in the middle of recording it or editing it. So it's this whole thing has been recorded over the course of like weeks. But I'm really happy with him. So thanks for watching if you did watch this far. And I will see you next time.